Hey everyone and welcome to the club and welcome to Fun Time Friday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw bending using a chisel tip marker that I picked up at a dollar store. I'm going to get started at the very top of my page with a half circle for the inside edge of the horns. So let's get started on the left side. Start with the front edge of the pen, curve down, and then back up. So it's going in pretty thick. Now I'm going to connect these two points with a large circle. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to work around towards the bottom. Now I'm going to work my way back up towards the right. You can see I'm using the tip of this chisel tip marker. Now in the center, I'm going to step down. I'm going to start with a point. Now from this point, I'm going to curve up and out towards the left to right about there. Go back to the center, I'm going to curve up and out towards the right. Now from here, I just want to curve around and then down towards the chin. Now the great thing about this chisel tip mark is that I can turn it to the side and just fill in this large area in black. Now you can see I have a little bit of a thick edge along the bottom right, so I'm just going to turn my pen towards the tip and just brush that out to smooth it out. I'm going to do that on both sides. Now from here I'm going to move in and draw on the eyes. Let's start with the lower edge of the eyelid. Starting on the left, I'm going to draw a curve, going up and then back down. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So it's like a large oval with a notch cut in on the left side. So let's start on the inside, we're going to step in Curve around towards the top. I'm going to pull that down to right about there. I'm going to add a notch. So it's almost like a sideways V. We're going to angle in, angle back out, and then continue that curve down towards the bottom. I'm going to fill the eye in black. Now let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the outside, I'm going to curve around towards the top of the eye, come down. Now we're going to add that notch, angling down and in down and out, and close off the bottom. Again, we're going to fill this in black. Now we're going to move down and draw in the mouth. So I'm going to turn my pen, so I'm working with the tip. Start on the left side underneath the eye. We're going to curve down in the middle, and then back up on the right. I'm going to round out the edge of the mouth, and then connect the bottom. Starting on the left, we'll curve it down, leaving a small gap underneath the chin. Now let's add in the teeth. Starting with the center, we're going to start with one line. Now I'm going to work my way over towards the left, leaving an even space gap. Add three lines on either side. Now that I've drawn in the head, let's work our way down with the bow tie. I'm going to start with the knot first, leaving a gap from the bottom of the chin. I'm going to start with a curve, going up and then down. We're going to round out the sides. Now we're going to close off the bottom with a curve coming down in the middle. Back on the top left corner, I'm going to curve up and then down towards the left. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's flatten off the ends with a slight curve coming down and in. I'm going to pull this back up towards the bottom corner of the knot. On either side of the knot, I'm going to add a wrinkle, just a small curve hooking down and out. Now let's tuck the body in underneath the bow tie. So I'm going to start from the corner of the bow tie, I'm going to draw an oval, curving around the belly, down towards the bottom, and then back up on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and fill the body in black. Now we're going to continue working down with the legs. I'm going to leave a gap in the center. Using the flat side of my marker, I'm going to go over to the left and draw a straight line coming down. Move over towards the right and we'll do the same thing. 
Now going back to the tip, I'm gonna flatten off the bottom with a straight line. And I'm gonna go up in an angle towards the side of the hip. Let's go ahead and fill that area of the leg in black. Now let's draw on the shoes. From the inside corner of the left leg, I'm gonna step in, draw a straight line coming down towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's round out the heel. Starting from the left, I'm gonna curve down and up. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna round out the front of the shoe. Starting here on the left, we'll curve down and back up towards the toe. Now from the toe, we're gonna to curve up the top of the foot and then down. Starting on the left, we're gonna go up. I'm gonna pull that down. From here, I'm gonna go straight up towards the corner of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by curving up the top of the foot, coming down. Now I aim towards the outside corner of the leg. Let's add two ovals along the top of each shoe. Starting from the left side, draw one oval. And do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna fill the shoes in black. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. So I'm gonna start on the left side on the bottom corner of the bow tie. I'm gonna curve out and then down towards the wrist. And do the same thing on the right side. Now let's go back up and just taper the arm so it gets a little bit thicker as we come down towards the wrist. So we step up, taper out, and then down. Now I'm gonna overlap these two points with a curve for the edge of the cuff. Now I'm gonna round out the edge of the cuff almost like a little half circle on either side. Now in between these two points, I'm gonna draw a short little curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with that curve going over those two lines, round out the ends, and then in between, I'll draw a short curve. Let's go in and fill the arms in black. Now we're gonna move back to the left side and draw on the hand. So we start with the inside edge of the cuff, we draw a half circle for the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we draw a small bracket. Now at the bottom of the thumb, we curve down around the bracket and go up. We step down, curve out, and then up. Now the third finger, we go all the way around in towards the outside of the cuff. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with a half circle for the thumb, and then a small bracket. The bottom of the thumb will go down and up around the bracket. Step down, draw the second finger, and then the third finger up towards the outside of the cuff. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is add two ovals in the back of the hand. Starting with the outside, we draw an oval and fill that in black. Step in, draw that same thing. Now let's go over to the right side. Draw the first oval, and then the second oval. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine using a chisel tip marker. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.